Hi guys, I have another Copic colouring and card tutorial for you today. I'm going to colour this cute a little sweet Geisa Charlie by Little Blue Button Stamps. And I am going to combine her with the Bow Bunny Serenity collection and these beautiful papers. So um, it is going to be shown in my choices of Copics. But let's get colouring. is all cut out and these are the papers we're gonna use but first I 
thought uh, we'd play a little bit because I wanted to colour this into fun colours and stuff. So we're going to be a little bit inky and sticky and everything. I have picked up a whole bunch of different, um, of, uh, four different of these uh, distress inks. I've used Shabby Shutters, Pale Paint, I'm using Aged Mahogany and Fired Brick because these are all colours that match with this paper. So first I'm putting some ink onto my craft sheet. I'm um, just pressing the ink pads onto it to get those inks a bit like this. Then I am going to just spray the inks. And then we're taking our little uh, doily here and just pushing it forward and backward a little bit. She's gonna get very inky fingers from it. Uh, this. And then we're gonna dry this with our heat tool. Then when it's sort of dry, you wanna punch it into some of these driplets this. Just carefully just adding some kind of drops into it without muddling the colors too much. And then you just dry it with your heat tool again. Then you want to uh, dry off the ink or use it to uh, for another one of these. And for some last added, added texture to this, actually using this color wash by Aaron Duck, which is espresso. We just do two small squirts to get it muddly. And then I'm gonna put this away to dry. With this all coloured and dried, we can uh, continue with our card. And I must confess, I did go and wash my hands. We're going to start off uh, making the card base. The card base we're using today is going to be a dark chocolate brown. It's from Simon's Stamp. And it's a letter size, so it's cut in half at uh, five and a half. Then we are going to make our layers. I am using some green and some red cardstock for that. This is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna start with the red cardstock this time and we're gonna cut it down to five and three eighths. And then we're cutting that part down to four and an eighth. I actually want to layer even more so I'm taking this green cardstock I'm cutting that down to five and a quarter. And then we're cutting this down to four. Just gonna have that on top of that. Then I'm taking this uh, cardstock, which I really like. And this is going to be three and seven eighths. And I'm choosing to get this part of the pattern on the corner. And then we're gonna cut it down uh, lengthwise. And that is going to be at five and an eighth. Then we are going back in with the red cardstock, which is uh, five and three eighths. And then we're gonna cut a strip I want it to be one and three quarters. And then we're taking this pattern paper, we're cutting that down to one and five eighths. And then the length is going to be the same length as the red one, so five and three quarters. Then we're also going to cut this down because this is way too big. So 
we're checking on our hair on how we want it to be and I think actually I want the uh, this part of it so it's not as much of the red here so I'm gonna cut that down just putting it up and we're gonna do this very careful because otherwise you can tear it so just carefully just pick that apart that also, uh, if you look at this paper, you see that it has a little uh, kind of a colored part. So I'm going in with frayed burlap, which is a very similar size of ink. And I'm just going in around it to, to uh, make it look like we already had it on all the sides. Adding a little bit extra on those sides I had cut off. I'm going to do the same with this, giving it that distressed look. Now we're going to start putting this together, layering all the pieces. Now I'm not going to put this on just about now because I actually want this one to overlap my uh, doily there. Start by adding the doily and to make it very very easy I'm just adding the adhesive on top of the middle and carefully on some chosen areas because I don't want, I don't want to tear it and I don't want the adhesive to see through. Oh. We're gonna put it over here. I'm actually kind of lining it up with the lines in the paper. Right there. And then we just it down and by not adding adhesive all around we get a little bit of a flaring on of it which I really like and then we're adding uh, this on top I think this is the right uh, this is the right way up and just uh, having a nice little border on that side I'm gonna put our little geisha over here but first we're actually gonna do the sentiment and today we are going to use the apothecary labels because it's fun um, and we're gonna try out using the you are original true and loyal and one of the best people I know I really love these uh, matching dies and stamps really enjoy them so we are going to make one of those and we're actually gonna use the chocolate cardstock that we're using for the card base and I have a little piece here so I'm going to cut out actually going to cut out two of these um, I think I'm going to cut, cutting out three of these I don't really know which of them I want the sentiment to be on so I thought just cutting a couple of them and I can use them for other projects so I'm taping them down I think I'm gonna put this over here. Like that. 
can use the same tape. And I'm going to put this through my uh, big shot. I've put it through my big shot, so now I'm just lifting this up. They have all these kind of cool lines in them, I really like that. We are actually going to heat emboss on this. We start off, I'm using my embossing tool. It's going to be white all over, but it's, it's good because then you don't have the stray embossing things. We're not going to do white, we're actually going to do gold. Yeah, I'm allowed to change my mind. So we're starting off using some Versamark. It's one of the best inks to use when you're heating embossing because it's very sticky and it's very nice and then we just center this here somewhere we're here then we just press it down so we get a good impression I have some of my embossing uh, powders in uh, containers. They're not as small as they, I hopefully will find smaller ones, but they work. I think this is a, a ranger gold, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's a ranger's gold. So, and then... I'm actually gonna hold it with my tweezers because it doesn't get as... And I don't burn my fingers. And then I'm just gonna heat emboss on the side here. To remove the uh, kind of dust on it, you can just take an, a dry paper towel and just dry over it. It actually turned out pretty nice with the gold. And for me, uh, brown and red and green and gold are very uh, Asian colors. <laughs> no, um, but I really like it. So now we can put the rest together. Yay! Starting by getting some of these uh, foam thingies. I'm using the smaller ones from the Crafter Companion. So I'm starting by putting her, I think, a little bit up to the left or in the middle to the left. To the right. I'm not good at left and right, but it's to the right anyway. Um, like this. And then we are going to put this. The thing is, I wonder if I can put it now. I have to put it over here. I really don't want to put it over the red one because I really like that. Maybe I can put it... Ah, I'll put it down here. Like that. And then we are going to make the card base because we haven't done that yet. We're scoring this at four and a quarter as usual. So that's the card base, some of the tape. Oh, that could have gone wrong. I'm gonna put this on top. And that's today's card all ready. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. And uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can always press the subscribe button if you haven't already. I really want to thank you for watching. I really love all of you guys um, who views my videos. Uh, seeing that people view them make me want to make them even more. And I'll see you later. Bye.